Hello, welcome back. You might be wondering, two videos in a week? Who is she? Welcome to my 2023 TBR. We have a lot of books on here. I'm definitely not going to finish all of these books. Probably I'm going to like add like 10 others by the time this video is up and then end up reading like books that aren't even on my TBR. But I'm going to read them to you anyway, you know, just for fun. These aren't in any kind of order, so let's just get into it. This video is going to be my physical TBR and books that I don't own with me. So I'm going to do my physical ones first and then the books that I don't own second. The first one I have on here is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Um, this has been on my TBR for so long. I've been putting off reading it for years. Trust me, I think I got this in sixth grade. Five years ago, I got this book. And I still haven't finished it. I finished, like, not even half. Like, barely anything. It's just such a tiring book. <laughs> like, it's so long. And the words are so small. So, hopefully I'll finish it this year. Because... Everyone's like, oh, it's such a good book. It's one of my favorite classics, but it's just so tedious. Like, they don't do anything. They just, like, wait around and go to, like, balls. Like, that's it. While editing, I realized I didn't add Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier, which is also a book that I really, really like, and I really want to read it. So it's about this girl who... I think the cool the thing about the book is that, like, she's never named throughout the book, but the main character, she marries this man named Mr. Winters, and she moves in with him, and I think she's, like, haunted, or everyone in that house is haunted by the ghost of his, like, ex-wife. And I don't know if the ghost is metaphorical or literal, but either way, it seems really cool. And also, Taylor Swift wrote Tolerate It based on this book, like she said in an interview or something, that she read this book and then wrote tolerate it so i think i think that's really cool so that's another book on there i'm gonna have to make these explanations like faster because we don't have that much time but the third book i have on here is the picture of dorian gray by oscar wilde which is basically about this boy named dorian gray who makes this fashion deal with the devil next i have withering heights by emily bronte which if you don't know what it's about like where have you been for the past 200 years the last classic is The Great American Novel, The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. I actually started this book last year and then I just didn't finish it, which is weird because it's so short, but I really want to read it. And that's it for all the classics, but now we have the rest of my physical TBR. And the first one is Rule of Wolves by Lee Bardugo. I read King of Scars this year and I really did enjoy it, but I just, I felt like it wasn't as fun as I wanted it to be. I felt like I was only reading it for Nikolai and I didn't really enjoy anyone else's chapters so I was a little hesitant to pick this up but it's really long too so but I think but I think I'm gonna read it this year. I think I'll be able to so. Next I have Seriously by Madeline Miller. I read Song of Achilles 2021 summer I believe and I really liked it but people who've read Circe and The Song of Achilles always said Circe's better, although Song of Achilles is more popular generally, but everyone said this is better when they've read this. Next, I have On Earth Are Briefly Gorgeous by Ocean Wong, which is actually really cool because it's written in the form of letters to his mother, and it's written by this Vietnamese-American gay man, and it's his experience dealing with racism, homophobia, all that stuff. Then I have Ninth House by Lee Bardugo, and it's Dark Academia written by Lee Bardugo. Like, what else do you need? It's about this girl named Galaxy Stern who gets accepted into Yale, and there's like secret societies. That's all I really know. Then we have A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. I know this book is going to make me cry, which is why I think I've put it off for so long. I've like waited till I was like mentally stable enough to read it because I know I'm going to literally be broken when I read this book. I'm gonna be like this guy on the cover. So that's why I put it off for so long. Next on my physical TBR is Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. 
I haven't read all her books, uh, but I've read most of her, like, most popular ones. And then I read some of her backlist. But I really want to read this one next because people have said, like, this is their favorite one or they've said this is, like, their least favorite one. So I'm not really sure what to expect. Da so far, Daisy Jones and, and the Six is my favorite, so we'll see how this one goes. Next, I have The Atlas Paradox by Olive Blake. I finished The Atlas Six pretty recently, like, at the beginning of this month, and I really liked it. I liked it more than the first time I started it, which was, I think, last year. Um, so... I got this for this Christmas it's so pretty and it has like these really pretty illustrations inside of the characters and stuff like let me find one like, look at this it's so pretty and then I have the silent patient this is actually a really ugly cover I like the other cover better but this is the one that I bought by Alex Michael Rides. I hope that's how you say it but it's about this girl who kills her husband, shoots him 17 times or 7 times, one of those numbers, and then just never speaks again for the next two years. And then it's about this guy who is a psychologist. I don't know anything about this book. I'm really bad at this. But he's sent to try to get her to talk. And then I have... The fourth book in the last magician series and that is the shattered city by lisa maxwell this series is so underrated like so underrated i don't understand why nobody knows about it it deserves so much hype like so much hype i don't even know how to explain it it's so underrated and this is the last book in the series and it came out this month on the 6th i think but it's about this girl named Esta Falosk who can time travel and she works for this man who sends her back in time to collect these artifacts and the book starts when she's sent back in time to collect this book um I think called I think the Ars Arcana or something so she's sent back in time to collect that book from 1902 and stop the thievery of that book because there was this <coughs> A group of people who stole the book in 1902 and then it was lost forever so she's sent to stop this guy named the magician who st steals the book and so good literally perfection it's so underrated i feel like nobody talks about it enough there's like this very small niche of people on like booktube and booktalk who talk about it and it's not enough like everyone needs to know about this then I have Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. This was, again, popular a long time ago. I wasn't there then, but now I'm here and I really want to read it. Next, we have Baybell by R. Kwong, and I got it from Book of the Month for $5 because there was a sale during Thanksgiving, and everywhere else it's like $19 to $20, which is crazy for a book, so I'm so glad I got it for $5. I started it and then I went into like kind of a slump so I didn't finish it but I really want to finish it next year hopefully and also the cover is beautiful it's so pretty it's so pretty that was it for my physical TBR next we're gonna move on to my like books I don't own section okay so first on this list I have forever interrupted by Taylor Jenkins Reid and this is another book on her backlist and it's about this girl who meets this guy and they get married it's like a whole whirlwind romance thing but I think the day after they get married he dies and she meets his mother and I think it's their first time meeting and it's them going through like the stages of grief together of over losing a husband and losing a son and all that stuff next we have The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath again a classic the next few were actually on my video on my most anticipated releases for next year and the first one is chain of thorns by cassandra clare and i'm so excited for this like i am so excited for this i will give anything to read it like i cannot wait for this book i need to know what happens like the last two books destroyed me i was just gone dead unrecoverable then of course happy place by emily henry because i will read anything that woman puts out and next um jennifer lynn barnes the author of the inheritance games she actually said there's gonna be like a sequel series 
called The Brothers Hawthorne, and it's going to follow Grayson mostly and then Jameson a little bit. I am so excited for that. Like, you should have seen me scream when I heard, when I found out. Like, I saw the cover of the book on Pinterest, and I thought it was just like a fan edit or something. And then I searched it up just to be sure. And I was like, that's it. I'm never going to be the same. And even though I haven't read the first book, Ninth House, I can't wait for Hellbent either because I know I'm going to like the series when I start reading it. Then we have Immortal Longings by Chloe Gong, which is her first adult fantasy, I believe. And I'm so excited for that one too because I've loved everything she's put out so far. Then we have Witherward by, I think, H Hannah Mathewson. Yeah, Hannah Mathewson. And this has been on my TBR for a while. I don't really know much about it. I just saw an edit of, like, the aesthetic of this book, and I was, like, sold. Next, I have The Last Letter by Rebecca Yeros. Just keep in mind, I don't know much about any of these books, so I'm just gonna list them. There's not gonna be much of a summary. And I have The Things We Live In Finished, also by Rebecca Yeros. I have Somewhere In Between by Kelly Peacock, and The Foxhole Court by Nora Sakovic. I hope. I hope I said it right. Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson and I'm Glad My Mom Died by Janet McCurdy, which is really, really popular right now. Then we have Pack Up the Moon by Kristen Higgins, which is about a man whose wife dies, but before she dies, she leaves him like a bunch of tasks to do, I believe. And then I have If You Could See the Sun by Anne Liang, which is about a girl who's like slowly turning invisible, I think, and she uses that to her to her advantage and what prompted me to like get this or like want add this to my tbr was that she it's um academic rivals to lovers which is like the best trope like you cannot convince me otherwise it is so underrated and we need more books like this then we have the kiss of deception by mary e pearson yeah the kiss of deception but sorry i'm reading off of this so i keep looking down this is like my tbr but the Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson, and again, I think this is about a girl who's a princess, and she's destined to marry this guy, but she doesn't want to, so she runs away, and on her way, she meets these two other guys, and one of them is a prince, and one of them is an assassin, except she doesn't know which is which. I don't know, things are happening. It seems interesting, except I know I'm not gonna like it. I know it's gonna be one of those, like, 2016 like trashy books so we have the wrath and the dawn by renee audier and this also was really popular a while ago um but i didn't read it then because i don't know for some reason i felt like i wouldn't like it but now that like i think about it i feel like it's a book that i would like but i also have a feeling i'm not gonna like it so let's i don't know i don't know we'll see the next three books no idea what they're about but i want to read them because i think at one point i did know what they were about and it was interesting enough to make me add it on to this but right now no idea and the first one is juniper and thorn by ava reed the wolf and the woodsman by ava reed again and um i think Juni no, no, no a far wilder magic by allison saft so again no idea what they're about last book i have is the poppy war by rf kong don't know what it's about. I think it's about a girl named Rin who goes to military academy and bad things happen. But that's that's all I know. Yeah, that's it. That's my TBR for 2023. I know I'm gonna add like a hundred other books and I know I'm not gonna read all of them. I'm gonna read books that aren't even on my TBR because that's just the way things go sometimes. So this is just a formality at this point. Like TBRs are a social construct at this point they don't matter they're just there to make you feel better to make you feel like you have a plan when you don't so yeah but that was my tbr for 2023 and happy new year guys so pretty, pretty,